With the Halloween holiday upon us, the local four defenders have two very important warnings, and one of them could help prevent your child from an accidental overdose. With the popularity of marijuana edibles, local health officials want parents to be on alert. While adults take these, they can be extremely dangerous for children. We bring in defender Kevin Dietz, who's live with more, and that's just one thing that we need to be watching for Halloween, Kevin. Yeah, that's right. This time tomorrow, the kids will start trick-or-treating, and we all want them to have fun, but we also want them to be safe. So tonight is the time to go through your safety checklist. Halloween is supposed to be scary, but scary fun, not scary dangerous. Back in the day, parents checked candy for razor blades. Today, law enforcement says you should scan for edible marijuana. Many edibles are made to look like candy, and while it's unlikely someone would intentionally give your child pot, mistakes happen and kids have been hospitalized. I observe uh, things very, very closely to look for um, anything that's unusual about the wrapping, if it is wrapped, uh, or to see if, in fact, uh, um, it has been tampered with. Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napoleon says check all the candy. If it's loose or looks suspicious, get rid of it. And he says there's something else you should check. The state sex offender registry. Especially if you're going to have your kids running around uh, trick-or-treating or just playing, you need to know who's uh, residing in your community who could potentially be dangerous. We punched in the address of a local school and half a dozen sex offenders popped up nearby. Right next to homes decorated for Halloween are homes where sex offenders live. We asked Sally Schultz if she knew. She did. Oh yeah, I have a few of them here on my street. She doesn't let her grandkids go to those houses and she puts return address stickers on the candy she passes out so parents know her candy is safe. Schultz loves Halloween and lets her grandkids participate, but only under her watchful eye. I make sure they stay in groups. There's always an adult with them or three or four and I tell them which houses not to go to. And one of the most dangerous things that happens on Halloween is the kids get excited leaving one house and they dart across the street to another house to get more candy. Sheriff Napoleon saying people driving in the neighborhoods tomorrow night need to really slow down, keep your eyes on the road, put down the cell phones, no texting, no distracted driving. And kids, you need to stay in groups like she said, and you need to have a parent close by. Make sure you look both ways before you cross the street. Keep everybody safe tomorrow night on Halloween. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. Well, Kevin, what does the law say about registered sex offenders and passing out kids. How, how's the, what's the actual letter of the law on this? Yeah, they can't do it. They can't be near kids. And so uh, if, uh, if you look up on your computer and you, you see where the sex offenders are in your neighborhood and you, you notice that uh, someone is passing out candy at that house, you definitely want to let the police know that would be a violation yeah. and uh, they could certainly get in trouble for it. And you just don't, you don't want to take that chance. All right, Kevin.